Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. It's Tom again. Um, gonna be doing a little bit of turning today. Uh, gonna turn a um, wooden spatula. My wife like, likes to cook with uh, wooden spatulas and wooden spoons, so I've been turning wooden spatulas for her. Tried this, tried to do this video here a while back, and uh, the uh, recorder I was using wasn't working. So let's try this again. What I've done is taken a piece of uh, cherry and uh, just kind of roughed out shape that I want. A uh, piece of uh, one by four, one by six. Kind of roughed out the outside shape of what I want so I don't have to turn all this down, but uh, still have, um, I'm still at square and everything else. Mounted it up with a chuck on one end and a live center on the other. Um, I'm going to turn it today. Let's see how it goes. Okay. All righty. I think what made Granddaddy great is that he didn't work all day. I'd love the time we spent, and I'd go everywhere he went. We end up on some old dear trail. And I listened hard as he would spin his tales. We were in a field of stumps. He said, I got a new one for you, huh? These trees once stood tall, and I'm the man that made them fall. I cut them up, I sanded them down. And you wouldn't believe what I found. Past the bark and all the scars, our home was in the heart of those old trees. God bless who sowed those seeds. A hundred years and they just grew. And only heaven knew just what they'd mean To our family All that time to become what they should You know our home was in the heart of the wood He smiled, said, there's my favorite one Pointed at a cherry stump He said I couldn't afford the one at Sears So the good Lord planted one right here He carved out what he saw within And he gave it to my dad when he turned him And past the bark and all the scars There was a guitar in the heart of that old tree all from just one seed A hundred years and it just grew And only heaven knew just what it'd be And how that tree could sing All that time to become what it should There were songs in the heart of the wood He said we can mark a tree to keep from getting lost And it'll always point our way home Like that old rugged cross A hundred years and it just grew And only heaven knew just what it'd be And who'd hang on that tree It held the Son of God like it should but I know it broke the heart of the wood I think what made Granddaddy great Is that he didn't work all day I'd love the time we spent And I'd go everywhere that old man went <laughs> Yes. I think you did it more. <laughs> Was it good?
problem with parting it off like that, but I end up with a real small little nub that uh, I can come back here and grab my 150. Let's see if I can get in the film in the frame. Hit that nub with my 150. Where'd I go? There I am. Hit that nub with my 150 and I'm done with that aspect. I uh, gotta go over to the bandsaw and shape the shape the uh, paddle aspect of it. Um, I'll get you set up over there so you can watch what I do and then we'll sand out the rest of it. Okay, I've got my bandsaw set up with uh, three tooth per inch, um, half inch blade. Got a little safety block for myself, and uh, gonna turn on the vacuum and then turn on the saw too. Whoops! What I'm gonna end up doing on this blade, I'm gonna come in. try to show you what I'm going to do. I, I, I don't do real good at drawing it out. But I'm going to end up and my, uh, my pencil's not showing up. I'm going to end up coming in markers down. Grab the other marker. And end up coming in. Well, all of my markers are dead. And I'm going to cut a leave this about three eighths inch wide. You'll see what I'm doing as I do it. Turn on my my dust collector. Turn on the bandsaw. Having this uh, block up there when I was cutting that other that second side, as you could see, as I was cutting that other side, I could make it a lot more stable than just trying to balance on that little edge, and that's what the block's for. Let me get my sander set up, and we'll do that. Okay, I've got my belt sander set up here. Um, my bandsaw, just a second ago, was sitting right here. So, my shop, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see the back corner of it. Uh, my shop's set up kind of small. One of my two dust collectors is sitting right back here in this corner, right behind the, the sander. Um, and what I've done is taken an old, uh, taken an old uh, loaf pan for baking bread, bread loaf pan, uh, wired it onto my sander, punched a hole in the bottom of it, and hooked it up to my dust collector.
about ready to run out of battery and I think it did in the midst. I've got it uh, pretty well sanded. You can see it's nice and smooth. Probably touch it up with a little bit of hand sanding. Then what I'm going to do to finish it is I'm just going to take some uh, mineral oil and rub mineral oil on it. Uh, put probably four or five coats on it and see and she'll be happy. When it starts looking nasty um, we'll put more uh, mineral oil on it. So there's what it looks like right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, and uh, hit the, go over there and hit the subscribe button too. Remember, only do what you're comfortable with when you're when you're working with woodworking. Uh, read all the tools, instructions. Make sure everything uh, you're comfortable with everything before you're, you you start doing it. Thank you, and have a good day.